Article 3 of the United States Constitution establishes the federal judiciary. It also creates the Supreme Court and authorizes Congress to establish lower courts. And the extent of that congressional authority was before the court in Stern v. Marshall. In 1994, J. Howard and Vicki Lynn Marshall were married. J. Howard was an octogenarian Texas billionaire, and Vicki, known as Anna Nicole Smith, was a 27-year-old Playboy model. Prior to J. Howard's death, Vicki sued J. Howard's son, Pierce, in Texas court, alleging that he had tortiously interfered with her expected inheritance from J. Howard. In response, Pierce filed a defamation counterclaim against Vicki. J. Howard died in 1995. After J. Howard's death, Vicki filed for bankruptcy in California. The bankruptcy court addressed Pierce's defamation claim against Vicki in her bankruptcy proceeding. Vicki then filed her tortious interference counterclaim against Pierce in the bankruptcy court. The bankruptcy court granted summary judgment for Vicki on Pierce's defamation claim. The bankruptcy court also determined that Vicki's counterclaim was a core proceeding under the bankruptcy code and found in favor of her. The court awarded Vicki over $400 million in damages. The federal district court reversed the bankruptcy court's determination that the counterclaim was a core proceeding. The district court then conducted an independent review found in Vicki's favor and awarded her over $88 million in damages. Both Vicki and Pierce appealed. The United States Court of Appeals for the Ninth Circuit reversed that decision, and the United States Supreme Court reversed the Ninth Circuit. On remand, the Ninth Circuit concluded that a counterclaim is a core proceeding under the bankruptcy code only if the resolution of the counterclaim is necessary to permit the bankruptcy court to resolve the creditor's proof of claim. The Ninth Circuit concluded that Vicki's claim didn't meet this test. Prior to the court's ruling, Vicki died. Stern, the executor of Vicki's estate, appealed. The Supreme Court granted cert and agreed to hear the case a second time. 